It appears as though we've been unconscious for a while, adrift within the orbit of this planet. What happened to our ship? Where's the rest of our crewmates? More importantly, where's all my cheese pizza? Never mind all that for now. The voices inside my head are trying to tell me something. Ah, yes. The console from my space home before I blacked out and everything exploded. Oh, how silly of me. I obviously need my pickaxe to repair this delicate piece of engineering. I'll just jetpack around aimlessly to collect some pieces of metal and rubber, which are the obvious materials that pickaxes are made from, and I'll just use my mind to create a pristine tool for repairs. It appears as though we've received some distress signals while I was out. I'll have to pray to the almighty creator that I can find my access card within this unreasonable amount of debris. I'm starving. Good thing our MREs are scattered around like pigeons in New York City. Oh great heavens, my cheese, pizza, the perfect dinner to feast upon while floating exposed to the deadly vacuum of space. Good thing there's oxygen tanks floating randomly about as well. I seem to have lost all memory prior to the explosion in regards to the items I used to build. No matter, we shall easily relearn them through our console's database. Before we begin searching for our access card, let's throw down a chest to store all this garbage. We shall turn it to great things in the near future. Oh look, it's our ship, and how convenient our access card is here as well. Along with some succulent steak that we shall magically eat through our space helmet. Now we can unlock our console's decryption software for use in analyzing the black boxes of our missing companions. By the looks of it, we weren't the only ones messed up by that strange laser thingy. Now, for the arduous journey of collecting resources to feed our desire for knowledge. This might take a while. We've relearned most all of our basic tools and components now, which means I can smack rocks with this jackhammer thingy, yet my pickaxe is totally useless and used to fix and repair. Makes sense. I've decided it's time to completely ignore the fact that we should be searching for our potentially dead friends and instead expand upon our base. It's a modest beginning, but a start nonetheless. I mind-numbingly collected more garbage to expand with. The rubber is most evasive from my experience attempting to collect it. I've done a bit more collecting, and we're now able to place a door, one of the modern comforts we often take for granted in life. This will not be easy to expand, but expand I shall. The walls, on the other hand, will require some more work to be complete. One step closer to our survival. After what felt like an eternity, we've completed the base, at least to a point where we are sealed in safely. We've learned some important items for the future expansion of our base, like this generator. Where else to place it besides inside of the wall by the ceiling, you ask? The answer is nowhere else. Now, we have power restored to the base at the cost of burning plastic, the ultimate source of power. We can also make an oxygen generator, and I have the perfect place for it in mind. Now this. This is the trash trap. We have some work to do until we can get this mighty piece of technology running. For one, it will require this recycler, where we can turn some of this trash floating around into useful parts. And two, we will need to mine more asteroids for raw materials to recycle, because obviously that's how you turn precious metals into refined works of art. Did I mention it takes eons to mine asteroids? I've almost forgotten at this point that we should be searching for our fallen comrades black boxes. Looks like we've drifted towards one of their ships. Let's go decrypt this back at the console. It looks like the others have had similar issues as us. Alright, it looks like we have decoded the message encrypted on the black box. The crew loses consciousness. We were at the epicenter of the wave, sending data to the main ship. We can't get out. Code 698. End of communication. This is the last message that the Leviathan sent out before they exploded and all the crew died. We should keep an eye out for other shipwrecks of our comrades. But first, and more importantly, base expansion. We can now refine this branium to start our mass collection of space debris. Although I think lights inside the base would be more beneficial to start. Ah, uh, much better. Comfort over utility. While mining for more materials to expand our base, I stumbled across a second shipwreck, taking life-threatening damage along the way from debris pummeling me upside the skull. Another black box found to decrypt. This one is from Sparrow. We received information about a leak in Module B. The repair team is already solving the problem. We received information about breakdowns of other crews. We are preparing according to the protocol. The depressurization led to the explosion of oxygen containers in the living quarters, which led to a fire. We isolate the sectors. I see this ship's cicada. Cicada crew, see you. Do you read me? Cicada, your species.
speed is too. It appears the transmission stops there. Well, back to base expansion. We need to learn a few more things for our garbage traps, as well as far more asteroids and metal scraps. Oh great, another ship. It seems as though our dead crewmates disagree with our plans to expand our new space base. Two for one this time. The dead have a lot to say, don't they? Control system isn't working, blah blah. Oxygen failing, blah blah. Radiation, blah blah. Same story, different dead spacemen. There are greater matters at stake, like building this 3D printer. Very nice. I can almost taste the cold metal body of our trash traps now. And so it begins. We are only able to create three at the moment with power from our unreliable plastic guzzling generators. But three it shall be. Bear witness as our machines of mass collection suck in the surrounding trash that we shall use for further expansions. Yes, yes. While our collectors have been hard at work, I gathered some more supplies to start constructing solar panels and battery storage, as well as the magical food machine. We can use this to dump horrible, disgusting food into and turn them into delicious and nutritious energy supplements instead. Of course, saving my cheese pizza. No toppings, just cheese and crust. Our base is turning into a magnificent cube of mass collection, a towering shadow over its former glory before the explosion. I'll have to go smack a few dozen chunks of shipwrecks for more metal to continue the expansion of our great collectors. I think I've lost my mind during the process of manually collecting scraps. We now have quite a bit to work with, but it shall run out again shortly. More room will be required for storage, so let's build out some more. You can conveniently place any items in the wall, like so, making for a great wall of storage to be had. I've gone ahead and cleaned out the old section of the base to replace everything in a more organized manner. Another shipwreck is ahead of us as well. Let's see what their final dying words were. All attempts to contact the main ship were unsuccessful. The team is trying to fix the communication system, but due to radiation, we cannot determine the cause. We can only wait. The third sector is completely isolated due to the explosion of the module. Nobody knows what caused the explosion. Nothing new per usual, just explosions, radiation, and incompetent spacemen incapable of repairing their ships. Predictable. Let's move on to more pressing matters at hand, like organizing our traps and power systems outside. Main reason for moving them being the fact that we can telepathically collect their storage through the roof, apparently. This shall make it easy to collect and store all this trash we're collecting. And would you look at that? If we can't hold any more items, they just fall through the roof and side to us. Spectacular. More asteroid destruction. Another shipwreck. Same incompetent spacemen. More trash traps. More power. More trash traps. Yes, yes, bear witness to our creation. Collecting all of the trash that we don't wish to spend all the time gathering ourselves. Brilliant. Isn't it beautiful? Glorious. Look at all this trash. We're living like gods among the stars now. Back on our feet after that laser beam thingy blew us up. I also tried this gravity gun thing and let's just say it, it doesn't suck very well. Decorations, yes. Yet another modern comfort while we completely avoid the search for our potentially dead space friends. Let's just throw our buddy Dave up here above the helm and reclaim our porcelain throne. How have I created all these amazing amenities from nothing but random junk floating in space, you ask? Don't worry about it. I've taken the liberty to organize our storage as well, if you care for that sort of thing. You freak. It appears as though we've located the final shipwreck from our crew. And finally, we can see by this corpse that our friends are indeed not alive anymore. Cicada also with not much useful information other than the confirmation of the destruction of every single ship in our fleet. The voices in my head have now gone quiet. The confirmation that I'm the sole survivor of everyone I used to know has left me with nothing else to do but wait for what the future holds. Which is base expansion, obviously. Look at this magnificent beast. You wouldn't think it, but this was a lot harder than it looked to build. As we come to a close, I ask but only a few small things from you, whoever you are. Check the description below for the information about this game, Remains. It's in early access right now, and so far has been a pleasure to play. Click that like button and subscribe, or I'll throw you out into space with nothing but a bunch of junk orbiting the planet to survive off of, and I'll catch you in the next one. Brought to you by Wraith Energy. Use code DRIZZA20 at drinkwraith.com to get 20% off your order.